So root causes, what's that? Not anything to do with hair coloring or your garden, but interestingly, we're gonna talk about some functional medicine ideas. So root causes, what's that? We look at underlying reasons why you have your symptoms. We look at maybe if you have a diagnosis or if you have a group of symptoms, why are they there? What are they saying? And what is your body saying through them that we need to understand? And how can we go upstream or dig to the roots and figure that out? That's how we approach things from a functional standpoint. The other thing is identifying and supporting specific areas in your body, such as detoxification, which is liver function, hormones, how to balance them, immune system, what's influencing that if there's autoimmunity, how is your gut functioning? Now with that, there's tests and ways and questions that we can actually get to the root causes, and that is seeing really how your body's functioning. Not giving you a diagnosis, but it's seeing how it's influencing things that may end up in a diagnosis, such as irritable bowel, inflammatory bowel, things like that. And then the third aspect of functional medicine, in my mind, is the mind-body approach. What's that really like? How are our emotions influencing our health? How is our health influencing our emotions? What's our self-talk? What are our beliefs? How does that all come together? Because it's an important concept and then I feel emotions are just as vital as if we're taking a pulse. The better we understand our emotions and feelings and how they impact our body, even stress responses and trauma responses, the healthier we can be. So three aspects of functional medicine, root causes, supporting structures, and mind-body approach. Yours in good health, Dr. Louder. Have a great day.